Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Now, last week I hosted a one hour multi class endurance lobby for myself and my subscribers to basically take part in and uh, get kind of a, I guess, a little mini um, kind of endurance race going with kind of mixed classes, lap cars, pit stops, tire wear, and all that good stuff. And it kind of got me thinking. Now, this is a feature that I feel Gran Turismo 7 really does lack. And although it's not really spoken about by many, many people, I feel like it massively would benefit from having this kind of racing put in the game. So in a way, I guess this kind of does exist within GT7, but not really in the way that of a proper multi-class. So yes, you will see cars of different classes kind of on the same track, you know, neoclassical comes to mind and such. However, there's no real set proper multi-class way of racing. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's go and have a look at my lobby from the other night and it'll kind of make more sense. So multi-class racing is essentially where you kind of, in a way, split the grid. So there'll be different categories categories maybe that may be kind of lmp1 uh, gt3 even gt4 and stuff like that where essentially there's a winner for each different category you know the faster cars will have to deal with the slower cars and you know kind of vice versa all kind of on the same track at the same time so whilst in the sense of Gran Turismo 7 you'll see cars of different classes on the same track, they're not really split into any proper category. In fact, there's usually that many different classes racing that it just wouldn't make sense to really work. But with Gran Turismo 7 being a very, very good racing game at its core, I feel like it would massively benefit from this type of racing. So this is something myself and my subscribers have been doing for, well, quite a while within Gran Turismo 7, and it seems to work really, really well. There's that many kind of awesome cars in different categories within this game that it really makes for some fantastic looking and sounding grids. You know, whether it's in my league race where we race the Group 3s mixed in with the Group 4 Caymans in terms of the Porsches and stuff, you know, they make for some excellent longer races, even sprint races, um, or it's like when we do this, where we do kind of you know lmp1 or group one cars mixed in with group three cars and it makes for some awesome action you know you've got the kind of day and night cycle within gran turismo 7 which i honestly can't fault you know the weather system or the day night cycle within this game is absolutely fantastic not only does it look good it really provides some good immersion and when you're kind of racing through the middle of the night in your slower machine and you've got lmp1 cars absolutely flying past you on the straight trying to lap you or you know if the lmp1 cars maybe can't see you quite as well and they end up kind of going into the back of you it's all kind of like really immersive in terms of how this game works it feels kind of feels like the proper stuff you'd see within kind of a le mans 24 hour race so I think we all know at this point, Gran Turismo 7 really needs some endurance races. The last bunch we really had was the kind of one hour endurance races that we got in a mission pack, which most people won't go back to because there's no incentive to do so, obviously, with them being a one-time payout. And I feel like this has always been something that Gran Turismo has been good at as a whole, is those longer races. I think also kind of switching it up with, you know, multi-class racing with kind of different results depending on what class you go in and such would just be absolutely fantastic we've also seen um, games like grid legends do this recently with i believe it's second dlc pack and kind of the downside when i was playing that pack was you know i was kind of thinking in the back of my head all the time this is something that gran turismo would be very very good at if it was implemented properly you know the kind of downside of the grid legends version was the fact that pit stops and stuff didn't matter whereas you know the how the tires and the fuel works within gt7 i feel like it would massively be an achievement to get the multi-class racing in and kind of have those separate categories you know i feel like a good multi-class race is just one of the best kinds of racing you can do in any kind of motorsport whether you're kind of sim racing or watching it i feel like it's absolutely incredible and i really do feel like gran Turismo needs to get this in the game throughout the whole race we just had action constantly you know whether you were kind of going for your class win me personally i went in the group three which you can see here and i was having a battle with jace um, a guy that i've raced many many times so we've you know got the trust there racing um in the early stages of the race we were just constantly back and forth and trying different strategies out to kind of leapfrog each other whilst at the same time we've got group ones just flying around us it was just 
absolutely amazing it really is like i said the immersion and not only that it's just so enjoyable to kind of make these multi-class lobbies and just see everything going off whether it's kind of drama going off with the group ones or you know if you accidentally you know get in the way of a group one that's trying to lap you or you see people spinning as the tires wear off as or you know it's kind of you know tiredness draws in or concentration maybe lacks in the later stages of the race i just feel like it's just absolutely brilliant um and i really do feel like this shows the better side of gran turismo 7 i think a lot of people kind of take it at face value and forget that you know outside of the daily races and such there is people hosting these kind of lobbies whether you're kind of maybe into say you know custom car role playing or you know cops and robbers i've seen servers for that there's car meets there's you know like a lot of my uh, community lobbies will be a kind of endurance races whether that may be kind of a super gt lobby where you kind of do group two so the gt 500s mixed with gt 300s and such there's just so much to this game and i feel like if it was implemented officially by polyphony it really could take this game to the next level as well as making the grids much much bigger i mean this game it, some of these tracks is just crying out for more cars on the grid at the same time I feel like if Polyphony really do not only focus on kind of, you know, getting the awesome cars in that have been kind of leaked and such, but also really focus on what people want and what the racers want, there's a good balance here where, yes, you can even make this stuff kind of work within single player um, and not just multiplayer, but as well, even when it comes to kind of daily races, the, the kind of main reason I don't necessarily touch daily races these days is because they just feel so samey. You kind of sometimes get a few few decent races where they really do catch you by surprise for me one of those was the Alfa Romeo and I think that's just mainly due to I absolutely love that car um, and that was just going into the new year and such where I really really enjoyed my time with it but then you kind of see a lot of the group B um, sorry daily race B's um, or daily race C's just feeling very very repetitive and really not very imaginative um, I've seen many cases where you know the daily race C for a whole week is just an absolute flop and there's just nothing worse i mean for me kind of daily race c is the race where it's supposed to be longer it's supposed to be more strategic more tactical as well as being obviously very very fast but you know if you kind of have a bad week in terms of daily races um it, it just isn't very very you know good in terms of how the games run and um, it kind of just looks bad for sport mode and this is where kind of something like this would really come in handy um, with sport mode. You know, it would be kind of refreshing. It would be kind of giving people different opportunities to kind of race in different classes and see how they really kind of cope in an endurance racing situation. Yes, it would be a bit more difficult to maybe implement into the kind of, you know, outside of a custom lobby, um, but kind of, you know, when it comes to doing it within sport mode i feel like if they got it right it could be very very good with people having you know different positions or a position in class and then an overall position and stuff so say if you're kind of in a group three and you've got a mixed group of kind of you know group ones and such then you know if you win your group three battle then it still counts towards your you you know overall driver rating and kind of moving up or whatever whereas kind of you know if you absolutely have a bad time in the group ones and such um, you kind of move down and stuff like that and um, obviously not just between classes but with kind of how your driver rating and stuff works so i feel like if they really did take the time and effort and give you know not only sport mode a big refresh but then kind of add in the endurance races that people have been crying out for in single player as well as kind of add in the you know unique feature of multi-class racing i just feel like this game could be absolutely next level and like I said, I mean, there's such a decent selection of cars that you really feel Gran Turismo 7 could be one of those games that could realistically pull this off in the best way possible. Whilst we might not have the kind of most up-to-date roster in terms of, you know, LMP1 cars or hyper cars as they are now, or maybe even Group 3s and stuff, just it'd just be refreshing to kind of see them officially, you know, on track and you're having your own battles whilst having to deal with maybe faster um, cars on track or or slower cars on track and such. So let me know what you think. Do you think multi-class would work within Gran Turismo 7? For me personally, 
I actually do. I think because there's that many kind of differing cars within classes that we could really get some good multi-class races going. Me personally, every time I've kind of done one of these with my subscribers and stuff, it's just worked very, very well. While sometimes it's a little bit frustrating because you will have people that will jump in and then kind of just drop out mid-race and such. If you get one of those community lobbies going properly, um, or maybe even if, you, if you've been in one of mine, when they go smoothly, they're absolutely fantastic. It really kind of just brings a different side to Gran Turismo that a lot of people just probably won't even think of or really be aware of, um, especially if you're kind of one of those that might just kind of either just do single player or just do daily races because that's what you may be happy doing and, you know, more power to you. Um, but I just feel like there's many, many different ways for Gran Turismo to kind of not only refresh its online, but refresh its single player as well. You know, it also gives them, like I said, a good excuse to get those endurance races in. Um, and I feel like it'd be absolutely amazing. And I feel like a game with such detailed night cycles, weather cycles and stuff could really, really benefit from a full-blown multi-class race. So like I said, let me know what you personally think. I will see you all tomorrow for another video. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, my Discord and all that stuff if you want to meet like-minded racers. Also check out my sponsors if you'd be kind enough to. Um, I have the controller people which will kind of cover all of your controller needs. They'll be in the description. As well as poggers who help me kind of get up in the morning and go to sleep at night with their energy and sleep formulas. And they're absolutely great and they do a wide range of flavours as well. So I'll see you all in the next one. Take care guys and as always, peace.